What's up, YouTube? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here. It is Friday. You know what that means. The vendor reset has just happened for the division. So, without further ado, if you guys like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe for more. But let's dive right on into the base of operations. So, first we have the Cassidy with Ferocious, Destructive, and Boomstick. That's actually really good. So, if you're into shotguns, uh, go ahead and pick that one up. That's a really good one. We have the Pecan, with, which is a light machine gun which with self-preserved, talented, and Pecan. The Centurion with Expert and Adept. The Liberator with Vicious, uh, Focused, and Unforgiving. Now, both of those together, the Centurion and the Adept, don't forget their talents. And then the Historian with Harmful, Competent, and History Repeat. So that's actually not that bad. I would probably would re-roll Harmful for something different, but that's not bad. So... Next, we have the 9-3 Expert and Fierce. We have the Tactical Aug with Adept, Accurate, and Hurried. We have a G36 Enhanced with Skip, Capable, and Focus. An SASG-12 with Talented, Predatory, and Ferocious. A Covert SRS, Ferocious, Talented, and Vicious. And a Black Market M60E6 with Swift, Sustained, and Talented. So we're going to roll through here. We have rehabilita Rehabilitated. Heals 2 per second every uh, second effects, which is pretty decent there. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through. We have Forceful. We have Relentless. Pretty decent roll there. We have Accomplished. Uh, don't see anything there. We have Steadfast. It's pretty decent. We have Decisive. Uh, mods, we have the Prototype Firearms mod with 2.5% Exotic Damage Resilience with Medium of there. And then we have one with 6% Turret Health, which is good for your performance mods if you are looking for Turret Health. Moving on, we have an Extended Magazine, which is a pretty decent one there. They did mention that they were going to, but so I believe the new Extended Magazines can roll up to 120%. But it hasn't been released yet. So I definitely know they're talking about that. So think twice before picking that one up. We have a compensator. A vertical grip. And an ACOG. So moving on over to the blueprints. I'm hoping for a marksman rifle blueprint. Moving on over here. Let's see. We have our ACR again. So I didn't pick that. But it's back and it's still here. So if you didn't get it last week, go ahead and get it this week. We have a classic AK-47 blueprint. We have a stamina knee pad blueprint. A firearms glove blueprint, a vertical grip. Do it for those ones. I'll see you guys upstairs. Okay, agents. Now that we're here at the advanced weapon vendor, let's go ahead and see what he has. He's got a snub nosed rhino with expert and sustain, a coverted SMG 982 with vicious, adept, and skilled, a military P416 with skilled, sustained, and accurate. A Marine Super 90 with Brutal, Ferocious, and Unforgiving. Also a very good shotgun right there. We have a classic M1A with Determined, Brutal, and Fierce. That's pretty decent right there as well. With And an M249B with Determined, Skilled, and Competent. We also have a High Velocity Magazine. A Flash Hider, Vertical Grip, and a VX1 Scope 12x Zoom, which is pretty decent there as well. So I definitely know they were talking about buffing the high velocity magazines and other type of sidearm uh, type mods because of the fact that there's specific ones that everybody uses. So moving on over to the dark zone gear vendor, we have the infantry MG5 with competent, prepared, and dominant, an operator pack with inventive with increased skill power by 50% while at full health. Not too bad there, could be a little higher stamina. We have prototype stamina mod, mid one there, and the loud vent break as well. So moving on over to the front, let's go ahead and see what weapon they offer us here at the weapon vendor as well as the gear vendor. So moving on, we have an AUG A3 Power XS with swift, brutal, and vicious. Not bad there, to be honest with you guys, that's pretty decent. We also have a small grip with 16% critical hit damage. It could be a little bit higher than that, but it has stability and reload speed. Moving on to the gear vendor, we have... Recovered Gunslinger Holster could be a little bit better there and then for the performance mod we have 3.5% sticky bomb damage so That'll do it for the base of operations. Let's head on over to the dark zone Okay, agents, so we're starting here in DZ03 
I know we're skipping a couple DZs. We're going to skip 2, 4, 5, and we're going to hit 6, 8, and 9. And then we're going to hit the checkpoint. So I just don't see DZ02, 4, 5 being relevant until they change some of the other things that are there. But the weapons are always good to look for. So right here we have a Rhino with Expert and Cool Headed. So in case you didn't get that Rhino at the Wolves Den last time, if you like using the Rhino, the stability sucks, but this cool headed performing a headshot reduces all skill cooldowns by 5%. Can be pretty nice. We have a PP19 with commanding, unforgiving, and hurried. It's actually pretty decent right there. Not bad at all. We have an LVOAC with unforgiving, swift, and destructive. Now, this one I would actually recommend picking up if you can. It's a really good LVOAC. You can't go wrong with it. It's actually pretty decent for PvE and for PvP. So, especially with the unforgiving there. I would probably reroll Swift for something different, but having Destructive in that third slot will definitely help you out a lot. So we also have a Black Market SAS G12S with Unforgiving, Commanding, and Vicious. Not bad there. A Military Scar H with Adept, Fierce, and Skilled. And a Black Market RPK 74E with Competent, Brutal, and Sustain. So I will see you guys in DZ06. Okay, Agents, now we're here in DZ06. Let's see what they have for us today. We have a Lone Star Mask. We have a D3 FNC Vest. Roll towards Stamina. We have a Final Measure Backpack. We have Lone Star Knee Pads. We have Lone Star Holster. And we have Final Measure Gloves. So this is the week for the Lone Stars, I guess. If, so if you're looking for a Lone Star set, go ahead and grab it here in DZ06. I'll see you guys in DZ08. Okay, Agents, so we're here in DZ08. Let's go ahead and see what the Dark Zone gear vendor has for us here. We have Spec Ops Mask with Refreshed. Not bad there, to be honest with you. We have Gunslinger Vest with Vigorous, which is always good if you're rolling the health thing. We have Spec Ops Pack with in Inventive. We have a Spec Ops Pad with Prosperous. Has pretty decent for Bleed, Blind, and Disrupt. I wish there was a Burn one in there, but that's pretty decent for the other three. We have Spec Ops Holster with Nimble. Remember, in the state of the game, they're thinking about changing Nimble to a heal over time rather than once you get to your cover, the heal shows up. So think about that. We also have Decisive here. So let's go ahead and check out the special vendor right inside here. We also have Tactician's Authority Mask. We have a Reclaimer Vest. Predatory's Mark Backpack. Banshee Shadow Knee Pads. There's the burn resistance. Not a lot of it, though. I wish there was more. Predator Mark Holster. And then we also have D3 FNC Gloves. So not bad there. So I'll see you guys in D3, DZ09. Okay, Agents. So we're here in DZ09. Let's go ahead and see what the weapon mod vendor has for us here. We have a High Velocity Magazine. An Omega Rifle Suppressor. Which is pretty decent there. Not bad there. We also have a Small Grip. And improved iron sights so moving on up here let's go ahead and see what this vendor has for us upstairs we have tactician's authority mask we have a vest of the nomad sentry's call backpack lone star knee pads this one has pretty decent stats too as well but no bleed we also have a reclaimer holster and then d3 fnc gloves here as well pretty decent roll on that one so now I'm going to head over to a checkpoint. Okay, agents. So we're here at Park Ave. So for the checkpoints, we're going to work down the east side, and then we're going to go back up the west side. So starting here with Park Ave, let's see what they got. So we have a 9-3-R with Expert and Harmful. Tactical Vector 45 ACP with Accurate, Hurried, and Adept. Tactical MK-16 with Intense, Dominant, and Capable. Black Market SAS G12S with self preserved Brutal, and Predatory. A first wave M1A was skilled, balanced, and harmful, and a black market M60E6 with adept, accurate, and self-preserve. Here at East 53rd Street, we have converted SMG9 with ferocious, skilled, and deadly, spec ops armor with rapid, prototype electronics mod, a small group. Over on East 46th Street, we have a classic M44 carbine with talented, capable, and deadly, tactical pack with resourceful, Prototype Stamina Mod, and an Extended Magazine. Here on East 42nd Street, we have a Military L86 LSW with Prepared, Fierce, and Meticulous, a Gunslinger Holster with Sturdy, 
a prototype performance mod, and a TI rant suppressor. Here on East 40th Street, we have a police MK-17 with adept, meticulous, and toxic, spec ops holster with recovered, prototype performance mod, and a small laser pointer. 34th Street, we have an SASG-12 with determined, destructive, and deadly, astute gloves, prototype performance mod, and an extended magazine. Pretty decent on that one. Now here on East 31st Street, we have an M1911 with expert and unforgiving, operator holster with nimble, a prototype electronics mod, and a C79 scope 3.4 times zoom. Here at 5th Avenue, we have a paratrooper SVD with sustained, determined, and disciplined. We have a spec ops mask with refreshed. We have prototype performance mod as well as a reflex sight. Over at West 31st Street, we have a SOCOM M1A with accurate, harmful, and fierce, an operator pack with inventive, a prototype firearms mod, and an angle grip. Over here at West 34th Street, we have a custom P416G3 with deadly, accurate, and ferocious, pretty decent there, a tactical pad, prototype stamina mod, really high one there, and an angle grip. Over here at West 39th Street, we have a black market SAS G12S with predatory, dominant, and sustained. A spec ops holster with sturdy, which is really good roll right there. That's actually amazing. I actually might get that. A prototype stamina mod and a mega rifle suppressor. We're here at West 42nd Street. We have a PP19 with fierce, brutal, and hurried. That's actually really decent right there. Tactical mask with rejuvenated. Prototype performance mod and a vertical grip. Now here at West 46th Street, we have a first wave Vector 45 ACP with deadly commanding and predatory, spec ops pad with relentless, prototypes firearms mod, low one there, and a vertical grip. Last one for our checkpoints, we have West 53rd Street. We have a custom M870 MCS with competent commanding and deadly. We have cunning gloves with SMG damage, health on kill, prototype performance mod, and a T2 micro red dot sight. Now that'll do it for the checkpoints, let's head on over to the OK agents. Now that we're here, let's see what he has. We have a tactical SASG-12K with trained, capable, and ferocious. We also have a small laser pointer, so not that good of luck here, but, you know, we've had some pretty solid weeks in the past. That'll do it for this week at the Vendor Reset, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos in the future. The division videos are going to kind of be just the updates on the vendors unless I find something more to do because of the fact that I just feel the game needs to be a little bit more updated for me to bring more content because as it is right now, it's kind of stale doing the same missions over and over and over again even though they're legendary missions and new incursions and stuff like that. I just feel like I want more to cover rather than the same stuff everyone else is covering so if you guys are interested destiny is going to be releasing age of triumph soon i'm going to be streaming that i'm also going to try to make new videos for some of the exotic weapons there so stay tuned for that but as always guys i will see you in the next one peace